Hi, I'm Ruby and today I'm going to show you how I prepare my skin for makeup. I've always started off my tutorials with skincare because I'm a firm believer that beautiful makeup comes from taking care of your skin. I mean sure you can buy tons of makeup products and conceal your skin with concealers and foundations because you know, that is what makeup is for. But what a lot of young women don't seem to realize, especially within the 14 to 24 year age group, so basically my age group, is that you need to start looking after your skin from now. Invest in your skin and I'm not talking about throwing your whole entire life savings on serums and creams. I'm talking about investing your time and making the effort. I feel like time is the biggest excuse women use and we waste so much of it on social media. We're on Snapchat, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter when you can easily dedicate 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night to your skin. The routine that I'm about to show you won't take too much time out of your mornings or your evenings depending on where you're going. Not only is this routine going to help your base makeup look amazing, you will see results in the long run. You'll see that your skin has improved, the texture has improved and you'll slowly start enjoying applying a lot more makeup as well. So the first step is to cleanse your skin. I like to take my regular face cleanser and you would remember this one from my last skincare video and I like to apply this all over my face and use a face brush to help give my skin a deeper clean. There are so many face brushes on the market today and it can be very hard and expensive to find the right one. My hands down favorite is the Braun cleansing brush and this exfoliates and refines my skin. This is a complete beauty tool that everyone should have because it's super easy to use um, and not only does this do an amazing job at prepping your skin if you want to remove the makeup that you've got on your skin this just cleanses your skin like no other and you're not left with any residue left over on your skin the next morning. The Braun face is 100% waterproof, so if you're anything like me and you like to take your beauty routine inside the shower, including your products, then the steam of the shower will help open up the pores and the Braun face will give you a deeper clean. It will help to exfoliate your skin, to polish your skin. So when it is time to apply your makeup, you'll have a smooth application and your foundations and your base products will just wear much better. It feels like a salon treatment and you don't even have to leave your own home. The benefits of face brushes is that they're able to clean six times better than your regular cleanser and your fingers alone. Also, what I like about this one is that you can switch up the heads and it turns into a facial epilator. So what an epilator is, um, it's a high frequency plucker that you use to maintain your facial hair. I don't have dark hair around my face, but what I do have is tiny little blonde hairs. I think they're called peach fuzz. Um, and I feel like when I wear makeup, especially powders that it intensifies intensifies and like draws more attention to this hairy part of my face. Um, it is something that I feel self-conscious about but I just use um, the epilator to remove the hair. Um, it does sound painful but on my blog I gave this about a 3 out of 10 on the pain scale so it's pretty much nothing. So now that we've cleansed our face it's now time to properly nourish and hydrate our skin. The easiest way for you to look after your skin is to use a toner after you finish cleansing. There are so many toners on the market that help all skin types. You have toners for oily skin, toners for dry skin, toners that help minimize pores and also gently exfoliate and refine skin. Here I have my SK2 Facial Treatment Essence and I've been using this since I was 18. I like to apply the facial essence onto the palms of my hands and then with my hands I like to then press it into my skin. This is a very very gentle exfoliant and it helps with the skin's renewal cycle. I feel like this product helps improve the texture of my skin and it also keeps my skin hydrated and looking firmer. The next step is serum. All skin types can benefit from using a serum and the one that I like to use for my dry skin is the Antipodes Hosanna H2O Plumping Serum. I like to use four little droplets around my face and once again I like to press this into my skin. Let that absorb on its own for a few moments before applying your moisturizer. It's super important that you take the time to find the right moisturizer, not only for your skin type, but also for your lifestyle. Moisturizers that are too ingredient rich can cause some people to oil up and break out. Whereas oil-free moisturizers on somebody like myself who has dry skin can sometimes feel very tight and uncomfortable on the face. SK2 has always worked really well on my skin, which is why I decided to go for the Stem Power Cream, and this has Stem Aconax and also Patera, so it complements the facial treatment essence that I applied earlier as my toner. 
This cream definitely helps with the hydration of my skin and also premature aging. And I like to take a small amount and once again apply it to the palm of my hands, rub my hands together and then press the cream into my skin. A skin absorbs product on its own and very well too so you don't need to rub anything in and just stretch and pull your face around. Eye creams are also really important and just like face creams, it does take a while until you find the right one that once again works for your skin type but also works with your concealer as well. No matter what eye cream you use, what formulation, whether it's a cream or a gel, it's really important that you use your ring finger to apply it. This is your weakest finger and it means that you're not pulling and dragging the skin that's underneath the eyes because it's really delicate and you can easily pull it and cause premature aging. The next step is for you to apply your base products and also your primers before your foundation. Oily skin types will need to apply a mattifying, oil absorbing, oil controlling primer. This will help with the longevity of your makeup and it will stop your foundations and concealers slipping and moving about throughout the day. If you've got enlarged pores around the center of your face, then what you can do is use a pore vanishing or pore minimizing primer. These pore filling primers are temporary fixes, meaning that when you take off your makeup, your pore size will go back to what it was, so they just simply fill in the pores, making the skin look a lot smoother. And this is why the skincare component of this video is really important. If you have dry, dehydrated or mature skin, a really quick and easy way to perk up the skin is to use a flash balm. Here I have the Elemis Pro Radiance Illuminating Flash Balm. Flash balms brighten, they help to smooth out the skin and they also keep the skin nice and hydrated. It picks up the skin by giving it a dewy, radiant finish, something that dry and mature skin seem to lack. The key for getting the most out of your makeup is not only picking the right products for your skin type, but also making the effort and setting some time aside to look after your skin. I started enjoying makeup even more after my skin started to clear up and my face started to improve. I really hope you enjoyed this how-to tutorial on prepping the skin for makeup, and I hope this video encouraged you to invest in your skin. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. I love you guys.